Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Ethereum Classic Daily Update. We are going to see the next price targets, of course, before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto is the link you will find in the description box and in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's go right now and see what Ethereum Classic is going to do. So eventually for Ethereum Classic, I am a little bit in a difficult position to say I am cautious but bullish as well. I will explain what I mean in just a second. First of all, I have drawn the Fibonacci from the top that we had back on 29 to 30 March, you can see that, to the bottom back on 18 June. And you can see that it had the double bottom pattern played out nicely right here and then it broke out even from the 200 moving average back on 27 July. Now it pumped so much like 50% in just two days, right? And more. Okay, so right now we want to see what is next. So in the logarithmic scale, you can see that EDC is looking good. We are holding the support level of the 38.86 and it looks like it could even go to impulsive wave mode, pumping another 81%. Yeah, that's right. This could happen, but at the end of the day, I'm not using only the logarithmic scale. I'm using the regular scale as well. And you can see in the regular scale, we have found a nice retracement from the 0.786. Not only that, but we hold a huge risk in the daily frame, not forming though a bearish or say divergence, which is good. I will explain later on. But anyway, let's go to ETC against Bitcoin chart. Here you can see that in the logarithmic scale, we hold a very huge support level of the 0.201664. On the other hand, we can pump more. But if I go to the regular scale, you can see that we just found sell pressure upon the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement. And right now we should go down. Not only that, but unfortunately for ETC against Bitcoin chart, we are holding here a bearish RSI divergence. So given the fact that we are holding a bearish RSI divergence, I would trust more, not the logarithmic scale, but the regular scale, and we should be going down to face the 0.201571. Yeah, this is the next support level that I have in my mind for the EDC. Okay, against Bitcoin chart as well. So you can see right here, if we draw the FIB from the bottom to the top, we can find some major support levels, including the 0.20s, 1565, 0.20s, 1374, and many, many other more. With the logarithmic scale, this should be around the 0.20s, 1374, the most important one, right? This rectangle right here is the most important one on the logarithmic scale. Now, I'm expecting a correction for ETC against Bitcoin chart, but is it that ETC against USDT going to correct? Unfortunately, it is very likely because, yeah, BTC is looking a little bit not good. You can see the fact that we are having here a very huge risk. We didn't pump today and we are holding a lower high with the Commodity Channel Index. I'm expecting more correction going on for BTC. Therefore, it won't help so much CTC against USDT chart, which will correct. For now, though, I will be telling you a secret. And this is what I think about ADC against USDT. First of all, by the time that we haven't closed below this line right here, okay, the 38.65, we are absolutely good. All right, around 38.61 to 38.60 anyway, around this area, we haven't closed below yet, so ETC has some chances to pump even more. And eventually, by the time we do not lose that, expect a further pump. However, if we lose this in, and close below in the four hour frame as well, or in the lower time frames, then it is over. We are going down all the way to find rejection towards the 35 USDT. That's why you need to be careful, but at the same time, it is is not over yet. If we do not close above below the 38.64, then of course it is still bullish. But the fact that we have such a high risk right here, not forming a burst or sigh, but at the end of the day, we are having a huge risk. I'm not so sure if I would go and long uh, ETC Ethereum Classic. Okay, so I would wait a little bit. You can see it is the first time as well in the one hour frame after this impulsive wave back on 26 July that we are done from the 20 day MA in the lower time frames. Therefore, I would just 
a little bit weight right now, but it doesn't look so bearish yet. I don't know how it does that. It doesn't look so bearish. Anyway, yeah, the next fresh targets, if we go and get past above here, could be the high of the 26 March, which was 52 USD. So yeah, EDC could bump eventually even more. Okay, and you can see the weekly frame right here that it's not in an overbought situation. We do not have anything to worry about in the weekly frame. So we could pump even, even more. But right now I would have, and I would wait until we confirm this sideways movement, until we confirm that we are above the 38.60. Okay, if we go and climb here all the way and go sideways or pumping here, then just, enter the market and of course just have a sell uh, opportunity around the top right here and around the top that we had back on 20 March okay late March right there so yes this is not a financial advice that's my personal humble opinion anyway thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day and do not forget to join our monthly subscription Patreon slash mind crypto thank you see you soon bye